Hi, I am Sven from the B Music Project. Let's go on with the GTK user interface for our MyAmp plugin. The last time we took a look into the LV2 user interface specifications. We made all the plugin definitions for our GTK3 based user interface. And we did all the programming work needed to implement a GTK user interface into the LV2 UI interface. Now we only need the GTK user interface itself. For GTK coding, I recommend to take along the GTK documentation, especially if you aren't an experienced GTK programmer yet. GTK is too complex to describe in a few sentences. But in brief, we have to place widgets like dials our sliders into a container. GTK unfortunately only provides sliders by default. The container takes care about positioning. The user can track the slider and also we can change the slider if we receive new values from the plugin backend via the event port. And the other way around, we have to inform the plugin backend about changed sliders. This can be done via user event callbacks. In this video I will use a few GTK functions which have been marked deprecated in GTK3. There are two reasons why I still use these deprecated functions. More in the next video. So let's go on. The last time I had the idea to forward the instantiate parameters write function and controller to the MyAmp constructor and to store them inside the MIM project. So let's do this first. From the HPP file, copy the constructor declaration. Paste it into the CPP file. Add MyAmp to make an empty definition and initialize the object write function with the parameters write function and the object controller with the parameters controller. Which widgets do we need for this project? A slider and a container to store the slider. GTK provides two types of sliders called H scale for horizontal sliders and V scale for vertical sliders. And we take VBox as a container. So, in the HPP file, we define two GTK widgets as pointers slider and box. Back to our constructor, create a box by Box is GDK VBox new with homogeneous placement of children is not needed and spacing is zero, as we will only have one child in the box, the slider. And the slider is created by slider is GDK fee scale new with range, lower range limit is zero, upper limit is two, and step is 0.01. So we already have its limits, now we set the initial value to one by range that value, slider, comma one. Error. As range that value expects a GDK range and not a GDK widget like slider. So we have to reinterpret cast the slider. Now we put the slider into a box by GDK container at box slider. Similar problem, GDK container at expects a GDK container, not a GDK widget like box. So we have to reinterpret cast the box. And finally we set the size by GDK widgets at size request of the box to 50 times 200 pixels. Next, get main. It will simply return box. So we copy and paste the method head, add the class name, and return static cast to the return type box. What event, which informs the object about changed values from the plugin backend. Also copy and paste the method head, add the class name. First we have to check for format is zero for a control port like the amp port. Then we can get our const float value from the buffer, which is a void pointer, and thus has to be casted to a float pointer and dereferentiated. Now we look to the port index. Taking a look into the plugin definition, our amp control port is 2, so case 2. Then we set the slider by GDK range set value, this time already with reinterpret cast, to value. And don't forget the breaks. Now we need a callback function to inform the plugin backend about a tracked slider. So we need a value changed callback. Callbacks should always be static. Taking a look into the GDK documentation, int and any name. Let's take value changed callback. And the parameters are GDK widget widget for the widget which calls the callback and G pointer data for any user provided data. We will later use this for a pointer to the myimp object. Copy and paste the method head, add the class name. Get the MyAmp object pointer UI by static cast from data as I just said. And if UI exists, get float gain from GDK range get value, reinterpret cast GDK range widget. Now we can use our stored write function and controller. UI arrow of write function, 
UI error controller, the import number which is 2, size of gain, 0, and the reference to gain, and return 0, to say everything is fine. The event handler still has to be informed about this callback function. We do this in the constructor. By gsignal connect after, it's the slider to connect, the string value changed, gcallback and our value changed callback function, and the pointer to the data to pass. As mentioned before, we use the this pointer. That's all. Now we can compile both the plugin and the UI. First the plugin as we did before. Then the user interface with G++ or CPP file, simple visibility hidden, pick for position independent code, also defined pick for the includes. We make a shared library, multi-threading, the math library, package config compiler flex and libraries needed for LV2 and GDK. And output file is myamp underscore GDK dot SO. Compiler warnings, as we use deprecated functions, but succeeded without errors. Now we go to our local LV2 directory and create a myamp underscore gdk 3lv 2 folder. Copy and paste the TTLs and the shared objects. Testing in shelf. So it now looks like in shelf. And it works. Also in Kala and in Thrism. All the same as it should. But there is something wrong with this approach. Why? I will tell you the next time.